you shout out my YouTube channel, Talent Tough. Yeah, um, shout out to Talent Tough. Thank for you. Following. Right then, guys, so welcome back to another video on my channel. Um, match preview then for tomorrow against Barnsley. Last game before another international break. Um, I just want to say a happy birthday to Dwayne Holmes. It is his birthday today, so happy birthday to him. I know he won't see this, but, um, you know, I just thought I'd say it anyway. Um, but, yeah, Barnsley at home tomorrow. Not going to be an easy game at all. Um, Barnsley, obviously, not long ago got a new manager and stuff like that, so they're on quite a high. Not doing too bad, really, um, this season. You know, obviously, they're normally a side that's a yo-yo team from League One to the Championship. They managed to stay up last season, and they're all doing okay this season. Us on the other hand, not good at all. Obviously, going into this month, we wanted to to do quite well. And with the run of fixtures that we had, you know, it's a massive opportunity to to move up the table and get out of this horrible relegation scrap. It's only early on, but you still don't you still don't want to be in it. You know, the longer you stay in it, um, it's it's really hard to get out of. But against the tough Barnsley side tomorrow. We've we've got to change change the form around. Obviously, Philip Koku won't be managing the side after test. Well, having to isolate after being in contact with Stephen Pearce, who who tested positive coronavirus. So we haven't got him tomorrow, but I'm hoping that the lad, lads can step up. Obviously, Rooney will will have a big impact on on them tomorrow with with um, Philip Koku being out. I'm guessing Rooney will have to step up a bit. He won't be managing it, but you know, the impact he has on the players could be massive. Tomorrow, I'm going to say a 1-0 Derby win. You know, I think that the players know that they've got to turn this um, this form around. I think Philip Koku knows he's under pressure, so I think that he would have got that message across to the players, to the staff. Um, and I'm hoping that they can just go out tomorrow and show some fight. Against QPR, it was a really boring game. I don't think we showed really any fight and passion. There was just nothing there at all. So, you know, that's what we've got to go out to tomorrow. You know, even if we lose, you know, we need to show that we've got passion, we've got some fight. Um, and I'm hoping that we've been working on a lot of stuff in training. Most of our goals have been coming from free kicks recently. We can't always rely on that. So it's got to change for tomorrow, which I'm hoping it can. Um, I think Philip Koku would have probably been sacked already um, if it weren't for the takeover. Obviously, Mel Morris ain't going to pay off his contract and hire somebody else when you know he can leave the new owners to do that. Um, which can you know you can understand, but tomorrow's got to be a must win. We sat twenty third in the league, one point off bottom of the league, so tomorrow's a must must win. Um, you know, every game you want to win, but we've got to win this, else we could be bottom bottom of the table come tea time tomorrow. So, um, yeah, like I say, I'm going to say 1-0 Darby win. Probably say either Shinny or Martin Waghorn to, to get the goal for the Rams. Um, you know, we don't tend to let loads in, but we also don't score enough. So that's why I've gone for quite a close game. It could be 1-0 Barnsley, I think. It'll be a 1-0 Either way, but I'm going to stay positive and go for a 1-0 Derby win. But yeah, thanks for watching. Make sure you comment your score predictions below. Leave a like and subscribe. And yeah, up the Rams.